Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry and turquoise. I love me some turquoise. I've been um, putting stuff in here for a while and then I had this box sitting over the top of it all and it's one of the bottom drawers in my jewelry box and I thought I would just share uh, what's inside. I guess we could start with this. Um, because, I mean, why not? Uh, this is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, um, and Sterling Silver. That's a gorgeous piece. Uh, yeah, pretty neat piece. I got that from a local dealer here. Uh, it also comes with earrings. Very nice. I've only worn it like twice, so I don't know. I would, I would sell that. I'd probably sell that. Um, if you were interested, I don't know. You could email me, I guess. Uh, this one, I'm not really ready to part with it. Uh, I'll keep this one for a minute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me just show you up close real quick. Uh, I've also found this one uh, here locally uh, from another dealer. Or actually, maybe it was the same person. I think it was the same person. Um, look. I want to show you guys. Uh, I got my my screen. So what I'm going to do, I'm taking out that center panel and those two end ones I'm going to hang on either side here and I'll put a latch on it, but should I spray paint them gold to match the furniture over there? <laughs> yeah? Let me know. Spray paint them gold? I think so. I think it'll look cool. I have it upside down because there's a space the other way and I don't want the animals coming through the space, if you know what I mean. Yeah. There's a crawl space under there. Anyhow, no more animals in here or my art room. I've had it. I've had enough. Um, this is just sitting right on top and I think I just acquired this recently um, from maybe Kirsten Red Resale, I'm pretty sure. I think so. Um, and it's beautiful and I haven't, uh, haven't worn it again. I'm a very visual person. So if I don't see it, I don't think about it. And that box has been covering, um, this stuff for some time now. So, uh, I don't want to get it all mangled and tangled in here. So, uh, now this one, I would definitely be willing to let go because I can't wear copper. It's a really nice one. This is from the Bell, uh, Bell Trading Company, I think it's called. Something like that. Nice. That one's nice. Um, I got this one recently too. Uh, this one fits me real nicely. Actually, I should be sporting this. Um, I'm going to pull this out of here and put it back in where my bracelets are because I need to wear that. That's gorgeous. I think I got this from Kirsten also. Love this one. Uh, what else? Um, oh my goodness. What is happening here? Sterling silver clasp. delicious uh, disc type. Well, I guess they're not really discs. They're flat. And then it comes down to this chunk. Chunks and chunks and chunks. Chunky, chunky. That's pretty amazing. Never worn it. Pretty cool though. 
pretty cool though. I do see one that I've worn quite a bit though. Let me see. Love this. Love, love. Um, is it this one? And I think I have. Hmm. Is it this one? I thought I had another one that. That looks like the same turquoise and I'm pretty sure that this is also Sleeping Beauty. If you look at that side by side, I did a lot of research when, um, when I acquired these pieces and it was some time ago, but I love this one. I haven't worn this in a long time either. And maybe I should pull that to the side as well because I'd like to wear that. I would like to wear that. Um, I've gotten quite a few of these pieces here from um, a lot of fellow YouTubers. Uh, and I believe I acquired this one here from Gina Gay. And this one actually kind of matches this necklace. And so maybe I need to put this aside too, because this is something I'd really like to wear in wintertime um, with a, you know, nice turtleneck or sweater. That's beautiful. I'm pulling that one aside too. These things do not need to be under wraps in this box. This is just a coral strand. This looks like natural coral. I don't think it's dyed. I could be wrong. Uh, it's just a really long necklace. Beautiful. Oh, I guess I could probably let this one go. I haven't worn this forever and ever. It's on leather and whatever that says back there, I don't know. I don't know. I can't see it. So I'm going to have to put, put that to the side. And this is beautiful turquoise as well. Um, uh, turquoise and amethyst and I can't remember who I got this one from, but I just think that's so pretty. And I'm gonna put that over there because I wanna wear that too. I do. Uh, this is a double strand turquoise necklace. Really beautiful. I'm not sure. I know I bought a couple from uh, Gina Gay, and I know I bought a couple from Kirsten Rudd. So I'm not sure, but um, beautiful. I just love turquoise. Turquoise. This is a little shorty, but again, just beautiful little stones. Nice strand, but I don't wear that, so that's going to go over that to the to-go pile. I guess I'm cleaning out my cleaning out my closet. Not an Eminem song. <laughs> this is neat. Uh, coral and sterling silver. And it has um, two different lengths there and a little barrel clasp. That's cute. That's really sweet. I'll keep that out over here to my probably want to wear this winter pile. And I'm sorry, but we jumped straight from uh 
summer to winter because it's been super cold at night and in the morning and yeah I don't know fall still hasn't happened but I saw frost on the roof it's been like 35 37 degrees in the morning with a high of like 50 something here in sunny California and the little um, foothills we're, we're nestled right underneath the foothills um, the Sierra Nevada mountains up here and oh my gosh I woke up the other morning and went for a drive and snow cap I mean everything was just covered in snow all the way down uh, to the foothills and when we rained last week we got some really really good rain and snow thank goodness we needed it Oh, and um, if you haven't yet, let me know what your favorite thing is. Um, uh, give it a like. Uh, leave me a comment. Yeah, and tell me what your favorite thing was. Subscribe and share if you would. Helps to grow the channel. And why wouldn't I want to grow it? I mean, come on. <laughs> why not? If you like jewelry, like I like jewelry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know about that one. That's cute, but not really my thing. I don't think I've ever worn it. And I know I've never worn this because it is monstrous. And it's so heavy. And it's carnelian. And it's so beautiful. Oh my lusciousness. It's gorgeous. I, I don't remember who I bought this from, but had to have it. Had to have it. It's gorgeous. Love it. Love it. Oops. I don't know if I can wear that. I'll try. I'll try. Oh, I think this looks like it needs to be restrung. Oh, yes. Yes, it does. I recall. I think I purchased this one from Miss Gina Gay, and it needed to be restrung. I need to get this out of here and do something with it because that is also gorgeous beautiful turquoise love it love it what else uh, this is how light done on sterling silver really nice these are definitely discs but this is really nicely made, and I just thought it was really beautiful. Um, and it does have the sterling cones on the end. Really nice. Yeah, that's definitely how I... I believe so. There's another turquoise and sterling silver caps and this one has an extension chain this one's more of turquoise chips but very very pretty beautiful uh, this is sterling silver here uh, also with an extension clasp and Also with really pretty turquoise stones in it. Oh boy, I got goodies at the bottom here. Uh, that's the closure there. And then it has the bench beads and turquoise in between. I think I got this one from Gina Gay as well. Pretty sure. Pretty beautiful. I think so. Gorgeous. I need to wear these things. Um, this I did wear for a minute. Um, it's for your glasses and it's got really beautiful turquoise and garnet and 
uh, whatever stone that is, um, with the silver cones on a piece of leather that goes around your neck. And I did not find this to be very comfortable around my neck. So, um, I don't know. Maybe it's one of those things. Oh, I think I'm going to do a knick-knack paddywhack, like Black Friday sale. Um, and it might, be not, might not be on Friday. I don't know. But I'm going to do it uh, coming up real quick. So, I'll, I'll definitely put it in my, um, you know, I'll put out a thing and let you all know. But yeah, I'm going to be selling some knickknacks because Christmas is coming and not everyone's into jewelry and not everyone gets out of their house to shop. And I've got some really neat little things, uh, a lot of vintage things and some glass and uh, some minis, some miniatures, some cool... This is white coral. That's neat. That's a neat branch um, necklace. Um, and this one here is coral and that's very pretty. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. Not kind of. I am excited. Oh, yeah, this is broken. Bummer. So... I kind of need to remove one of these and see if I can save the string and try to re-knot it if that's at all humanly possible. Otherwise, it's just going to have to be restrung altogether, um, and it would be worth doing because that's beautiful amethyst. Very pretty. Very pretty. Look at this polka. Um, it's got the barrel clasp, it's got the small little pukas, and then it graduates up to bigger ones, and that's a cool one. I love that. Straight out of the 80s. <laughs> or was that like 70s? Late 70s? Something like that. Um, Another turquoise chip thing. So I'm putting some things to one side and some things to the other. Because some of these I'm going to sell. Because I can't wear it all. And maybe one of you will enjoy it much more than me. I'd rather uh, it be worn and loved and adorned than um, me just storing it in a box. Little boxes. really pretty. I'm not sure if that's turquoise. That almost looks like something else right now. I can't tell. Really pretty though. Oh, this lighting is kind of weird, isn't it? Huh. Huh. I'm gonna have to do something about that. And this, I, it's just in here. It's jade and some cloisonne beads. And this is how I found it. Oh, I remember there was a, um, like a disc or something that um, had broke and this was holding onto the disc so that needs to be reworked some way um, maybe undo these loops find the appropriate pendant and uh, put it back together make it a necklace again because it's beautiful beautiful jade oh and this is uh, a sterling I don't know why this is in here this is a sterling silver vermeil uh, necklace and bracelet set. And, uh, yeah. I remember finding these in two different locations here in town. Out in the wild. Um, and they go together. Pretty wild. Pretty wild. So I'll take them. Oh, and I bought these from Sue Denim to Diamond. $25. And it's one of those things. I got them and I'm like, dang, they're too heavy. They're just too heavy for me. I cannot. But they sure are pretty. And beautiful. Beautiful amethyst. It's going to have to go over here. Um, I got this from Sue, Denim to Diamonds, too, and I thought I'd rework this because there's a couple of these discs that 
uh, are broken. Uh, this one here is broken. It just snapped in half. I mean, I could probably wear it and no one would notice it, uh, but there's two more here. And yeah, I knew that it had that, so I thought I might rework that one day. But uh, beautiful. And it was a steal of a deal, so I took it. Um, this came inside of a uh, Doug uh, Vintage Boutique. Kelly had sent me um, a box of jewelry and said I could keep whatever I wanted. And this is one of the items that I kept. Um, and I just thought it was great. Love all the discs and all the different stones. Uh, this here is a 108 bead prayer mala. Um, and it, it appears to be very loved, um, hand knotted in between, and it is lapis, and it's quite lovely. I love it. I love this. And, oh yeah, this is in here, but I need to uh, get this out of here because I need to attach a sterling chain to it and make it a necklace. So I better bring that out of here. And then lastly is this little thing here. Um, it's had a whole lot of fun. Uh, it's been around, look at it. I mean, look at it. It's not too bad, I guess, once it's hang, well, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of wonky. Everyone has different techniques. I haven't figured out the right technique yet. But I was thinking, um, dipping it into some almost boiling water, just really quickly, and then just giving it a light tag, just a light, just a, you know, and see if that works, because that kind of makes sense to me. <laughs> but what do I know? All right. Um, that was it. That was all. Hope y'all had a ball exploring my little jewelry box. If there's anything you had to have, you could always send me a screenshot and an email and, uh, I might be able to work something out with you, but that was not the intention of this video. Just wanted to share what was in my jewelry box and what's been hiding from me for a while. So you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and thank you for last night. It was so much fun. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I took a breath. <laughs> uh, saliva went down the windpipe. Whew. Excuse me, that was wild. Um, <laughs> God. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, thank you all for last night. It was a whole lot of fun. Um, I'll have everything shipped out tomorrow. And uh, yeah, see you guys really soon. Bye-bye.